The 64th session of the Organization of African, Caribbean and Pacific States and EU General Assemblies made to discuss solutions to climate change challenges. Deputy Speaker of Parliament Thomas Taewa, who has just been elected to represent East Africa to the Assembly, expressed concern at a move to compel Africa to do away with fossil fuels without a proper negotiated transition plan. Yeah, and just transition that is not rushed. There is no way you can say that Africa can, for example, do away with fossils. Forces developed Europe, coal developed Europe. And then for us in Uganda, who are just going to start exploring oil in 2025, uh, someone argues that uh, no, Uganda don't explore your oil. No, that's not acceptable. Taiwa has also urged leaders at all levels to reject proposals by the European Union that require Africa to pay the heaviest penalties for climate change, yet the continent is the least emitter of dangerous gases in the world. He instead called on the continent to instead call for just and fair transition to clean energy. Energy uh, transitions need around $25 billion uh, per year up to the year 2030, according to the uh, energy uh, reports that we are getting. Now, if we are to do that, it means that these countries must pay more. European Union, by saying they committed 20 billion uh, euros up to 2027, 20, uh, that's not enough. We need to do more. Taiwan also appealed to EU to invest more in affordable solar energy in Africa and cautioned them against shipping counterfeit electrical accessories to Africa. Africa has 60% of the best assessed uh, global solar sources. But only 1% of installed solar uh, globally is in Africa. So meaning we are seated on a very huge potential, and that's clean energy. Mark Angel, the vice president of the European Parliament, adds that EU is committing up to 20 billion euros or 84 trillion shillings to support the deployment of at least 50 gigawatts of renewable energy in Africa to provide at least 100 million people with electricity access by 2030. It includes action that uh, are uh, the deployed at a different level, at continental, regional and national level, to increase access to affordable, reliable and sustainable energy services for African people and businesses to promote the increase of generation of renewable and sustainable energy and also to increase the energy efficiency. Pekas Senyonga Mulinde, NTV, tonight.